All right, hello. Today is Cinco de Mayo, and it is day or week two of our duck eggs in the incubator. So we're just gonna open it up and see what's going on in here. Thermostat in our humidity. Let's see what we're at 100.6 and 60% humidity. So the temperature is a little bit on the warm side, probably because the eggs are just all those little buns are cooking in the oven. And um, when that happens, when the chicks, when the little ducklings, I'm sorry, are just starting to live and thrive and move around, the temperature does tend to raise a little bit. So I will decrease my temperature and let's just take a moment and a little bit of water since our humidity is at 60% and we like it at about 65 so we're just gonna add a little bit of water into our little tray reservoir at the bottom okay now what we're gonna do is check a few of these eggs here we have a little candled egg oh that was a nice one actually okay there's a good one you guys oh hi Macy Want to see the eggs? Maisie loves the little duckies. So you can see all those little veins. At this point, they go all the way around the entire egg. And that little air sac at the top is getting nice and big. And if we gently turn it over, let's see if we can see anything moving in here. usually see a little duckling moving inside. Oh, there it is. Did you see that? It's moving in there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. So that little duckling is just happy as a little clam. Warm, perfect humidity. They're getting all the nutrients they need in that yolk and they are growing nice and big and every time I turn them they flip from one side to the other and now you can see the little embryo and it's getting pretty big. I think it's probably about the size of oh, maybe like a baby quail at this point. The size of a bumblebee. So that's our first one and since we flipped our first one I'm going to put it on this end just so I can keep track. And then I go down the line and I just go Boop, boop, right down the line. And as I do that, if we want to check a few, we can just gently pick it up and check to see how they're doing. But at this point, it's really kind of hard to see inside the egg since that little baby's gotten so big. It's just a dark, cloudy mass that moves. Oh, here's a good one. little duckling moving around in there. Pretty cool. <laughs> I got such a kick out of these little things. All right, so I'm just gonna go right down the line and then I go down this line. And we're gonna turn everybody here. And we're being very gentle. Since it's the two week mark, We've just got, let's see, today's Cinco de Mayo on May 15th, I believe. Is it the 15th? No, the 13th is when we are supposed to increase our humidity. Get these little eggs ready to start getting ready to hatch. So we've got another week or so left on our hatch here, but they're growing big. They're looking strong. I did a nice candling last night and not one of them wasn't moving. They were, every single one was moving. They were all wiggling, 
scrimming and growing big and strong. You see that little baby moving? Oh, that's a wiggly little baby. <laughs> theories about these little eggs. I think that the smaller petite size eggs are going to be little hens and that the big ones are going to be drapes. So I think this one here, since it's pretty petite, is going to be a little hen. Sweet little girl duck. It's going to lay lots of eggs in her lifetime. Since these are Khaki Campbell and Apple Yard ducklings, they are going to lay a lot of eggs when they are adults. Khaki Campbells can lay up to 350 eggs a year. That's an egg a day. That's amazing. Oh, that was our first one, so I'm not gonna touch that one. I'm gonna come up here. The reason that I move my eggs down in an order is that that way, if there is a warm spot in the incubator and a cool spot in the incubator, nobody gets stuck and gets stunted. Everybody gets moved around, so. If an egg started way over here, eventually it's gonna end up, by the end of the hatch, way over here by day 27, because we're just gonna go right down the line, moving one egg every single day, from this side all the way to this side, and then they just kind of snake on through. But we've added our water, so the humidity is gonna be great today and tomorrow and the next few days. It usually lasts for about four or five days, and then I have to top it off a little bit more. And they are all looking healthy and active. So we're gonna close them right up and let them get back to growing and getting healthy. And we will see little ducklings before you know it. All right, thanks for watching guys. I love you.